guys, welcome back to the channel. Today it's a slightly lighthearted video uh, that I'm making for you because it's something I've seen online that kind of made me chuckle and a teeny weeny little bit annoyed. Um, if you, I don't know, you might have seen the articles, but basically Sainsbury's, which is a UK supermarket, has introduced a new vacuum packaged mints because that will save them 450 tons a year of plastic so they're basically cutting down their packaging by 55 percent which you might think is absolutely great and everybody will be happy because there are people that are whinging that companies use far too much plastic so and one companies to uh, reduce their packaging and there is a tons of articles where people started slating Sainsbury's for introducing such a vile product and I read through the comments and it's like oh my god right so i just clearly let you know i intentionally vacuum pack my mints and this is an example mint it's 500 grams because it does save space in your freezer oh i've got a label there sorry it does save you space in the freezer and it just protects it better because there's no air it doesn't get so much of the freezer burn and it, it's just it's a win-win situation right so anyway and the things the comments that people were saying it's Oh my god, that's it's total mush. Uh, not being sort of funny, but you know how the mint is made. You put the meat and it comes up as a mush already. So just because it's laid out there on the tray in the little ways from the mincer, it doesn't make it any any less mushier than when you come to cook it. And then it was just another one, and there was a picture there that again that was atrocious. The lady said that um the mint took her, what was it like 90 minutes or 40 minutes to cook through? And after that, it was extremely chewy. And they showed the picture of like what was looked like potentially 700 maybe grams of mint meat cut into massive six pieces. So you can imagine like a big chunk like this. And they did be just chucked in a frying pan to cook. Like again, not being funny, but of course they'll take 40 minutes to cook or an hour to cook that because you haven't actually basically kind of chopped up the mints. Like when I chop the mints, sometimes I chuck it in frozen. If, if I got it from the packet that I haven't vacuum packaged. And then of course you bosh it with a spatula, a wooden spatula, you separate it to make it into the smaller chunks. It is what it is. Anyway, there was another one. There's gotta be like, probably the epiphany of all of them. Is the, um, is a comment that said that it made it look like livers or liver. I'm like, okay, if your liver looks something like this, then you're in bloody trouble, to be fair with you. But again, guys, sorry, it's just got to be, I just could not make this video. I just read this and I was just chuckling all the way along. And somewhat, I just had this tiny bit of annoyance. Like I said, we all want companies to use less plastic. And then they go and do something big and it saves them a lot of plastic and it probably saves them money as well. I don't know. However, have such a massive backlash. But it's for the people that would just sit there and they just make sort of some of them are stupid, stupid comments. And it's like, I appreciate you might not like it. It doesn't maybe look as, you know, as good as the mints presented you in the tray, but it's certainly not that people all making up all the stuff that is mushy, is slimy, and it just looks like liver and, you know, all the things like that. And it's just saddening that we want the companies to do this and then they do this and then it's coming back and biting them in the ass. So if we want for companies to reduce more plastic, then I think maybe we should be just a little bit more understanding and actually appreciative to what it is that they're trying to do, especially if we are putting pressure as the consumers on them and the government to basically reduce the plastic production. So there we are. If you are um, interested to have a look and just have a giggle, please Google this. There's many articles and they just type in like backlash Sainsbury's or something in the Google and you'll see the pictures of people like being outraged, but because as well, they're using the word outrageous. It's really people being outraged and disgusted. It's like, it's a packet of freaking mints. Do you know what I mean? I'll just deal with it. It needn't to make it just a big deal. And it just, oh, anyway, I'm going to stop talking, guys. I had to share this with you. It was bubbling inside me and I had to rant about it. So if you do want to read it and have a look at the pictures, as I said, just Google this and go and have a look and probably make a day and just make a giggle, chuckle, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you, see you soon. Bye-bye.